Hello guys, um, I basically have re received some requests on how I make my Kamalax, basically my Ottoman headwear. Uh, so here I have one of my examples, which was my first ever made one. Um, it's made out of uh, burlap, basically a sandbag, in a way. Um, so the basic pattern is a half, half oval shape, kind of pointy at the end. And it is covered with four strips of basically the same fabric. You can actually change the amount of uh, amount of uh, strips that you use because obviously these hats weren't actually one piece, uh, uh, different pieces, but were given as a one piece uh, hat that you had to cover. Uh, you had to wrap it around your head to make it fit, basically. So. Soldiers usually tend to have different shape, different patterns, basically with a bit different uh, looking hats most of the time. Um, so in doing so, I also created a new one. Sorry about my head hair. I haven't been. Um, I've, I've just recently come back to Turkey. I need to get a haircut. Uh, this is. Uh, there's a little piece coming out. Uh, this is like one of my recent ones that I made. It's made out of wool to match the uniform because, uh, strangely enough, Ottoman soldiers were issued German uniforms in certain uh, places such as Macedonia, uh, Middle East, even in uh, Galicia, which is the most common place that you see Ottoman soldiers with actual full set German uniforms. The only difference is their uh, tornister packs are actually French designs. That's why you can actually kind of notice who is Ottoman and who is not Ottoman. Um, there's also the fact that they kind of also have Austrian mixture in their uniforms and equipment, so that's also some, some indication that, that that soldier is an Ottoman. And they usually have these uh, Kabbalah hats. Uh, so basically it's the same design but it's kind of smaller because obviously there were different sizes and different shapes and different patterns created by the soldiers. And I have seen like at least three different sizes, large, medium, and small. But uh, it, it's not actually like compared to the soldier's head. You could have a giant, giant head with a small, small hat like this. So yeah, uh, that's, that's something to keep in mind. Uh, there are not actually really good quality things that are custom made for the soldier they just given out them given given to anyone uh because you know ottoman army you know, production for certain stuff was limited and they had to make up for some stuff i mean it's it's a pretty good winter cap and it does keep the snow out and also does also have the kind of the ability to kind of put those little uh, little straps down to create a bit more protection for your ears, but that's not the topic. Uh, so basically, this is it. Like this, this is how you should do it. Four strips or more. This one has five. Um, basically, four four regular and one on the front to create like a little, um, you know, what, what do you like a kind of a folded up visor. Uh, Ottomans never use visors, but wisers for their caps but still um yeah so this is the basic shape basic way you're supposed to do it you can also add pipes piping on it it depends but if you want to do it you can do it because i have seen examples of regular infantry having their um collars as their collars were piped most of them have, soldiers had uh piping on their collars uh they're they're uh they're Kabbalah hats were also pipes, so you can do that or you can you don't want to do it You don't have to because I have also seen examples that are just plain and simple as this one Even like this it's terrible terrible fabric, but it was used. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed if you're new to this channel, please give us a like if you don't like it Put something in the comments. Just explain why even you like it stuff like that. Oh, also, if you're wondering why do I have my uh, German bread bag on my cross strap, like stuff like this, and I have my bayonet on it, uh, I kind of did this impression out of a, a soldier I've seen in Macedonia, it's an Ottoman soldier, of course, who had a German bread bag without a canteen, having his Mosin Nagant, 
yes, Mosin again, bayonets on top of it, it was kind of cool, so I, I wanted to replicate that. Uh, strange thing, Ottomans did use Mosin guns. They were captured by the Germans in the Eastern Front, and also Ottomans captured them when they captured Russians, and they used them. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you guys later.